For many a year we have controlled your lives, while you all just struggle and suffer in strife. We created the things that you don't really need, your, your sports cars and fashions and plasma TVs. We control the money that controls your lives. Whilst you worship false idols and wouldn't think twice about selling your souls for a place in the sun, these things that won't matter when your time is done. You would really believe that we look out for you, while we bankers and brokers are only a few. But if you saw that, you'd take back the power. Hence, daily terrors to make you all cower. The panics, the crashes, the wars, and the illness that keep you from finding your spiritual wholeness. So, go out and work as your body clock fades. And when it's all over, a few years from the grave, you'll look back on all this, and just then you'll see that your life was nothing. It was us that funded Nazis. But as long as we own all the media too, what's really happening does not concern you. So just go on watching your plasma TV and the world will be run by the ones you can't see. While Europe was Christian for those centuries, Christian Europe fought a ferocious battle against riba. In fact, one of the best books on riba ever written was written by a British sheikh. What was his name? Shakespeare, correct. Which book? Merchant of Venice. In Merchant of Venice, you see Christian Europe in its attempt to ensure the prohibition of riba. But when the French Revolution occurred, the back of the Christian church was broken in Western Europe. And when was it broken in Eastern Europe? Which revolution? The Bolshevik Revolution broke the back of the Christian church in Eastern Europe, in Russia. When once the back of the Christian church was broken in Europe, the Jews were delighted. The Jews were delighted. Because the Christians had been waging a terrific war against the Jews for centuries in Europe. We will not allow you to lend money on interest. Hmm? And the Jews always wanted to lend money on interest. Why? The Torah that had come down from Allah had prohibited riba. But they changed it and the Torah now says, in as many words, that it is haram for a Jew to lend money on interest to another Jew. Hmm? <laughs> but it is halal, he can lend on interest to those who are not Jews. Go and check it out. Go and check it out in Deuteronomy, in Leviticus. Hmm? Go and check it out. So they are the money lenders. They change the word of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to this in the Quran and points out that they had in effect changed the Torah. Where did he do that? Surah An-Nisa. The language as I said was very powerful language. In that ayah he says, وَأَخْزِهِمُ riba وَقَدْ an." They were taking riba despite the fact that they had been prohibited from doing so. But the banks in Europe, they don't just lend money on interest. The European economy not only produces this curious creature called a bank, the bank does something more than lending money on interest. What the bank does, and this began in France with an Englishman, what the bank does is to start issuing paper as money. Paper as money. And then when government saw that the banks were getting rich issuing paper as money, then the governments took over <laughs> the paper. Then Europe sent her armies 
And European armies shamelessly, 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 at the point of a sword, those who say Islam was spread at the point of the sword, they are the ones who went with the point of the sword eh? and conquered the rest of the non-European world. And so a white world order emerges at the point of the sword in which Europe now rules the world. Hmm? When Europe took over the rest of the world, one of the most important things that Europe wanted to do was to dismantle the system of real money and replace it with paper money. And they achieved it. And all the natives start dancing, drum beating. We have something called independence. While Europe is laughing its head behind the wall. Look at them, blind like bats. Europe would not decolonize until Europe was ensured that a new financial system was in place in which real money was now replaced by paper money. At the beginning, when paper money was introduced, it was redeemable for gold. What does redeemable mean? In, yes, exchange. In the United States of America, until the 1920s, you could take 20 US dollars in notes, paper, and go to any bank, and you can ask for one ounce of gold, and you'll get it. Hmm? If a man wants to cut your throat, he won't be so silly as to show you the knife. He has to hide the knife first, all right? Get you to come close. So when paper money was introduced, it was redeemable in gold. And the banks that issued the paper money and the governments that issued the paper money, they gave their word that this is the value of the paper. And they even print on the paper, guess what they printed? In God we trust. It says, in God we trust. Hmm? In other words, when we give our word to you that 20 American dollars is equivalent to one ounce of gold, our word is as good and as solid as the Word of God Himself.